When you apply to a job, 80% of employers will check your social media and the first one they will analyze is LinkedIn. You don't want to screw up at this step because if they are on your LinkedIn profile, it means they liked your CV and application, they just need that last push to call you for the interview. And the first thing they will notice by clicking on your name on LinkedIn is your background photo. You want to impress them and retain their attention so that they read the rest of your profile seriously. And when they close the window, you want to be remembered, not forgotten among the other people they checked. All right, so you're probably wondering how can they remember you just because of your LinkedIn background photo? According to new research, 20% of people remember what they read, 80% remember what they see, and visuals are processed by the human brain 60,000 times faster than text. That's why having a memorable LinkedIn cover photo can help you stand out. But how can you create that wow effect I just talked about if you don't know where to start and if you have zero design skills? In this video, I'll show you two options you have to create an awesome LinkedIn background photo. And at the end of the video, I'll even show you a live example of how I would do it using a tool that you probably know. So if you're interested in that, make sure you watch until the end. So let's start. A great background photo shows either your personal personality, your interest, or one of your goals in a way that makes people want to know more about you. And this is exactly what will lead to more opportunities and more interviews in the near future. But how can you illustrate your personality, your interest, or one of your goals? The first option you have is simply choosing a photo that represents you. The first kind of photo you could choose is just something you're doing that you're passionate about. So a lot of people on LinkedIn put photos of them talking at conferences, some others put photos of them presenting a case study, and some others simply traveling. If you don't have photos like that, simply download a royalty-free image that represents something you care about. It can be your current job, maybe it can be your skill or an industry that you're interested in. For example, in my whole university, I had a background photo representing just a data cloud just to show that I'm interested in IT and that I wanted a job in IT as well. Another popular option is just showing the city where you live or a city you admire. It shouldn't be that complicated. Just use websites such as Pixabay, Unsplash, or Burst, Shopify.com, and download your free photo today. But hear me out. Do you see the problem with this option? It's just too easy to download a free photo on one of these websites I just mentioned. And the problem when something is too easy, too many people will just choose that option and it will be hard for you to just stand out. So if you wanna attain the next level, if you want to create that memorable LinkedIn profile that I know you want, then I would choose option number two, make your own background photo. This is the best formula in my opinion because you will have a unique background photo. No one can replicate it and it will just exist one version because it's you, you created it. And therefore, you will stand out more easily and you will have more flexibility because you created it and you decided what to show and what not to show to people visiting your profile. Okay, I hear you, it seems complicated because I don't know, you don't have any design skills, you don't know what software to use, you don't know Photoshop, and you don't wanna spend five hours learning Photoshop just for a simple background photo. I hear you out. So here's my solution, use canva.com. And yes, I know that you can do many, many things on Canva, but hear me out. There's a Canva LinkedIn library where you will find thousands or hundreds maybe of LinkedIn banner uh, templates that you can choose and use for your own. So to be honest, just by looking at that library, I have tons and tons of ideas. And so let's jump on the computer right now. Let's make one according to my personality and because I want a job in consulting. So let's go. I'm on canva.com right now. Yeah, you can see that I, I use Canva a lot. So, okay, so here in the search bar, you can choose the LinkedIn banner here, okay? And boom, you have thousands, maybe hundreds and thousands of choices for you just to take and then create your own um, LinkedIn banner. So let's say that I'm looking for a job in consulting. So let's say that, um, all right, let me just choose one. Great, awesome. So what you want to keep in mind is that you will have your, your picture just here. So make sure you don't write anything in this part of the banner. The rest is completely free. So let's choose my colors just because of Primal Career and because of my favorite colors. I like blue and I like orange just because they are complementary. So 
uh, I will keep that in mind. That would be the first step, choose your colors. Then it's all you and your creativity. I love quotes and I saw a lot of people on LinkedIn using quotes, so I will just put a quote that you saw on my studio here. So I think that this quote represents me a lot and I love it. And it shows my mindset, it shows my personality. So that's why I would choose it. I don't know what to do with those these logos here. So I don't really care. I will make it bigger just like that. I would put here this one here in orange. Then I would put this in orange too. Everyone would do it done with a dot. Boom. And then I would put my interest. I will duplicate here. I will put, let's say, consulting impact business because I don't know, I'm interested in consulting. I'm interested in having an impact. And since I studied business and I think that consulting is in the business industry or something like that, I would just use that this way. Boom, here you go. And then I would just put a call to action just for people to contact me. Then I would put my email. That's not my real email, by the way. I would put it here. Boom, you have a simple but powerful background photo. It's simple, it's straight to the point. It tells a lot about me, so my personality, so through that quote. And I put my interest in forms of words. I would put, maybe if I had a picture of me like working or something like that, I would put it maybe here. If I was in university, for example, or if I was looking for a job, I would use something like that. All right, so this is how it is done. And you see that the more complicated and the more complex the process is, the fewer people will actually choose that option and the easier it will be for you to stand out. So just imagine what you can create with Canva and other software just to make yourself and make your application different from others. If you're watching this video, I know that you don't want to fit in and you want to stand out. Okay, I don't want to influence you, but okay, I would just choose number two. <laughs> so go for it. I will put all the websites and everything that I mentioned in the description here. And I know that the LinkedIn background photo is just the first step if you want to have the best LinkedIn profile possible. And so I created a LinkedIn profile checklist just for you to show you exactly what you need to do to have the most complete LinkedIn profile possible if you want to land more interviews just using LinkedIn. And so you can download it for free down in the description. Let me know in the comment section what kind of background photo are you going to create just after you watch this video? Are you going to show your personality? Are you gonna show your interest? I don't know. Are you gonna show industry that you're interested in? Let me know in the comment section. When you're done creating your LinkedIn background photo, the next thing you should tackle is your LinkedIn profile picture. Remember, human beings will remember photos more easily than text. And so the LinkedIn profile picture is super, super important because, well, first impressions are key. And you know that if you're a regular viewer. So if you're interested in knowing how to take a professional picture at home, then watch this video here. And if you don't see it here, make sure to subscribe to not miss when it comes out, I think next week normally. So I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.